Now, next, next question is articulatio cubiti. Articulatio cubiti means elbow joint. The same scheme first is type of the joint. Uh, articulatio cubiti is here. So, from the first side, we can see that there are more than two articulating surfaces. More than two means articulatio compound. Articulatio compound. Compound. The second question is the geometrical shape of the uh, joint. It isn't easy to answer to this question because articulatio cubiti consists of three different joints. First of all, articulatio between humerus and ulna. Articulatio humero ulnaris. This joint has a special trochoid joint, trochoid shape. So we can say that it's ginglimus. Ginglimus. Sometimes say that it is pivot joint. So this geometrical shape we called ginglimus. The second joint is articulatio humero radialis. You can see that humerus on distal epiphysis has capitulum. Capitulum means spheroid form, spheroid shape. So this is a spheroid joint, spheroid joint. So spheroid. And third joint is between radius and ulna. But because there are two such kind joints, one of them called proximal and another distal. So we can say that third joint inside of elbow joint is articulatio radiolinaris proximalis. Proximalis. Proximalis we can abbreviate as prox, proximalis. Do you remember uh, the name of chief of gladiators in the movie Gladiator? It was Proxima. It means neighbor. 
those who is close to you. So proximalis, radio ulnaris proximalis. Here it is. Here it is. Shape of this joint is cylindrical. Cylindrical joint. This is cylinder. Sometimes you can find term trochoid joint, but practically it is the same. So three different joints inside of articulatio cubiti, each of them has different shape, geometrical shape. We can say that from these three joints, the main is first articulatio humera ulnaris. And that means that as a whole articulatio cubiti is ginglimus. We can say that ginglimus is pivot joint is the term which is belongs to all articulatio cubiti. So if it is ginglimus, it means only one axis, uniaxial joint, and we can demonstrate movements flexio and extensio. Flexio and extensio. And uh, next question after we discussed the uh, shape and the movements and the type of joint is question of articulating surfaces. So let us tell them. On the humerus, we can demonstrate in cesura, uh, excuse me, uh, we can say this trochlea humeri, trochlea humeri, here it is, trochlea humeri. More laterally is capitulum humeri, trochlea humeri, and capitulum humeri. Capitulum humeri. Uh, you remember, this is caput humeri, and this is capitulum, very small caput. And uh, these two surfaces belongs to humerus. And then, on the ulna, we can demonstrate incisura trochlearis. You can uh, put it. Incisura trochlearis. Incisura trochlearis. And then in radius we can demonstrate the caput. Caput. Radi. This is caput radii. 
or caput osis radii. And uh, to connect radius and ulna with each other, we need also have incisura. radialis osis ulne and uh, circumferentio circumferentio radialis let us find them. This is incisura radialis. Here it is. And with it contacts circumferentia radialis. So this is possibility to rotate in this joint moving is only radius but ulna is unmovable so circumferentia radialis and incisura radialis <laughs>